Good evening, my fellow scientists. It is Sunday, October 7th, 2018, and I want to give you a short update about fall colors on the Palouse and all kinds of wonderful things here at the University of Idaho. I have been absent for the last little bit because I've been at a conference shown here and visiting Seattle as long as I was attending a conference. I did get to see otters while I was there. They were delightfully cute and showed off their funny little hands and somersaults. Meanwhile, the whole time I was gone, we were cycling the iron battery and making slow progress thanks to Nico. For those of you who may be new here, we have been trying for the last year with some crowdfunding support to construct an all-iron battery with an iron anode and an iron salt cathode. Iron's very cheap and environmentally friendly, so we'd like to make an energy storage solution that's safe and inexpensive. We have another 24 to 48 hours of cycle course data for the all-iron battery with the polyacrylate membrane. So it's the cheapest of all the membranes and it seems to be holding up pretty well. You can see that dip toward oh, 15 hours or so. I think that's just the temperature in the lab fluctuating, changing the internal resistance and that changes the, uh, the voltage that we read during charging and discharging. But it is very reproducible. So this is Coulomb's in and Coulomb's out over the course of that 24 hours and it's it's just fine. So it's holding up great to this uh, treatment. And I'm happy to say that probably does it for our 20 milliliter cell. We'll be scaling up to 200 milliliters over the next few weeks, and I'll be updating you on that. Thank you all for listening, and I will see you next time.